Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we are exploring the Mirabu North branch line. This branch line branches off from Morwell on the Gippsland line and we're going to go see what's left on the abandoned side of the line and part of the Grand Ridge Rail Trail. So let's go and see what we can find. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give us a like and leave comments below on all my videos. I'm always happy to have a chat with all of you guys. And yes, I know it's another line in Gippsland area. It's just close for me, but I promise I will get up to the northern suburbs and we will get some of those lines done, such as the Mansfield line and even like the branch line to Alexandria and do stuff like that. And I'm really keen to get up there. Just waiting for better weather. Well, I've got good weather today. Just waiting for the right days and for the right weekends to get up early, get up there and do that. But anyway, let's get into today's video. Roll the intro. <laughs> The Miribu North branch line was a country branch line here in Victoria. It branched off from the main Gippsland line in Morwell. The first section of the line opened on April 10th, 1885 from Morwell to Ballara. The second section to Dalimurla opened on September 8th, 1885. The line transported goods such as timber, milk and potatoes. The five stations along the line were Hazelwood, Yina, Ballara, Dalimurla and Miribu North. The line was forced to close due to the open cut coal mine in Morwell wanting to expand. Because of this, it severed the railway line leading to the closure. The line closed in 1974 and the section from Ballara to Mirabu North is now the Grand Ridge Rail Trail. This is Morwell Station. Opened on the 1st of June 1877, 146 years ago. Still in active service today with V-Line on the way to Taralgin. And this is where the branch line to Miribu North started. Alright guys, so I'm here in Morwell and the line has continued onwards. I'm on the spur up that goes towards Hazelwood, which is the first station on the line. And the power station for Morwell was built over the railway line so so the power station was built over the railway line and adjoining with a siding to the power station and as you can see here this is no longer in use the tracks are overgrown it's all locked up and you can't access it so there is no more rail access to the power station not too sure when this siding closed i'll have a look up and see if i can find it but i'm guessing they didn't need any more rail access which is why it's all closed off now there's an old rusted away point switch right here and yeah, there is points straight ahead uh, going off into variable sidings to the power station. And this is the other side. There's a bridge here and another bridge there. And this is going over a little side road here. And the main freeway is just over there. There's an old pillar here and old telephone wires as well. Uh, running alongside the railway line Something different I've never seen before are these like metal sleepers in the tracks as well as wood ones Just a concrete slab over there a Tall wooden that looks like a tree that's collapsed over most likely not too sure looks a bit man-made but hard to tell Just another telephone wire and that's going over the freeway And now we're coming up to the bridge which is running over the freeway This is really cool. I had no idea that this was a railway line. Every time I drive here over this bridge, I had no idea that there was a siding here. So pretty cool. So if you keep going straight down, eventually you will meet up the main line, which is just over there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this railway line does meet the main line and heads back to Morwell Station. Well, that was that. I uh, didn't really expect to see any of this here. So now I'm gonna try and find Hazelwood Station. There was a lot less information that I could really find on this station. I could only find one picture of the station mound and the remains so i'll see if i can even track that down if not on to the next one but let's go so yes 
struggling to find the railway alignment as obviously this was taken away a long time ago but did find a site of Hazelwood Ridge School and the backdrop here is phenomenal but this little embankment here I don't believe it's the railway line at all I think that's just the embankment for uh, the water or the reservoir that's on the other side so we'll keep looking and we'll keep going further as we can maybe hopefully when we get closer to Yana we'll start to see some railway embankments or some railway related items so yeah let's go this is the site of Yana station opened in 1885 and closed in 1974 here in the centenary garden there's lots of information about the suburb of Yana some of the infrastructure, the railway line, and other history about the area. Here's a picture of a Z van at Yena Station. And preserved as a historical site and a museum is the Good Shed. The Good Shed was built in 1887 and has lots of information about the history of the railway line and Yena Station on the notice board for the town. So feel free to pause and have a quick read on any of these signs on the Good Shed. The peak of the line was all the way back in 1890. I think that's pretty astounding in that the peak of a railway line was so many years ago before an even bigger population emerged. So I think that's a really interesting fact. And on the other side of the goods shed is a steam loco pulling into Yana Station. And here is the actual station platform itself. The retaining wall is still standing, looks really good, has been maintained and is now part of the playground. And here's a train as part of the playground for the kids to play on. I think it's really cool that they've got that as a reminder that there were trains here back in the day. I think there's a barbecue as well here, so it's a great little spot with a great backdrop as well to enjoy and have a nice day out. And a two minute walk from the railway station itself is the railway trolley shed, sitting along the alignment for you to come and have a look at these historical items. There's some pretty cool equipment in here and amazing tools that you can see that they used back in the day for the railway and for the town itself and it's definitely a cool little read as well and a great little thing to have here and keep preserved it's a really nice touch and if we keep making our way down the railway alignment eventually you run into some cows yeah some cows and they're all staring at me cool anyway you can actually see here the railway embankment going along this farmer's property which is really cool you can really see the alignment and yeah, it's a bit overrun by cows at the moment. But you'll also find a spot where the embankment drops down for the old site of a trestle bridge. I believe this is the only pillar still standing and it's a pretty thin one, but at least there's still something left. All right, well, that was Yana. Time to head down to Balara. This is Ballara and the start of the Grand Ridge Rail Trail. Ballara opened in 1885 and closed in 1974 like the rest of the stations. Ballara had one platform and two tracks. And although there was no station platform, there was another barbecue and another playground for you to come down and have a great day out. And before you enter the rail trail, there's a couple more information boards for you to have a read and learn about the town and the railway before you begin your journey on the rail trail. All right, let's begin the rail trail. Although I'm not walking, I am driving. So let's get in the car and go to the next spot. This is Dali Merla Station, opened on September 8th, 1885. The station had its own passing loop and goods loop, and there was a carriage dock at the end of the platform and the goods shed was added in 1889. There was a station office and a cottage for the station master. And the main project out of Dalimurla was the timber. It was great to have a read about all the information here at the station and I've learned quite a bit about the railway and the history of some of the fires that had occurred here in 2009. Those fires burned down three of the trestle bridges along the line. It's sad that they were destroyed, but there's still plenty of railway history still preserved here on the line. Right, that was the second last stop on the line. Time to head down to the end of the line, the terminus Mirabu North. Let's go. <music> this is 
this is Miribu North Station. And it's still here standing strong and it's still being used today, but as a children's care group. The wooden station building is still being looked after, which is really nice to see. And even the roof over the platform is still there looking good. You can still make out some of the rest of the platform mound and some of the mounds for the embankments as well. And here's a look at the back of the station platform, which is now a car park as well. Well guys, that was the Miribu North branch line. If you liked the video, give us a like, subscribe and leave a comment below. And thank you so much to Andrew Cook, who is on Instagram, who gave me the photos to use for today's video. So a massive thank you to you. Please go check out his page for all your Victorian railway history and some beautiful photos that he's taken throughout his time. Anyway guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace.